Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy. So, welcome, I'm gonna show you the old gel cells here in Orangeville. This used to be jail cells, now it's our prayer cells. What we do in here is this is our prayer room and we'll have moments with 24 seven prayer where we're just in here, we're praying and worshiping God in our own unique way. I like to summon my inner like 10 year old child or younger and like right all over the walls. Uh, so my contribution to it uh, this time was this one right here. I did binary, Jesus is Lord. Um, Sometimes uh, I just want to make a joyful noise for God. Uh, like just being, for me, just being loud sometimes can be a joyful noise of praise for God. So I just wail. I lost my hat. Sometimes uh, while we're in here, we might be a little bit quiet. Throw on a little bit of prayer, light some candles. But um, uh, we also have this cross. And sometimes I'll take a sin that is on my mind, on my heart, and I thank God for taking it. Right here is actually mine. I did my sin with all my fingerprints stained with my identity, but no, I'm giving my identity up to Christ. And that's how I'm choosing to identify myself. So uh, music uh, as a form of worship in a lot of church services is something that I struggle to connect with. And that's usually what people think of when they think of worship. They think of worship music, or this is a worship service. We're supposed to worship God in honesty and in truth, and a lot of times I don't see myself in those songs. Those songs aren't an expression of my truth. They're not engaging me in the truth. And then it's hard for me to engage in spirit. Great, like impactful worship also engages our spirit and it's in truth. So if you've had moments when you've been just truthful, then you have had moments of worshiping God. Um, one of my favorite moments is I was in a mosh pit uh, in the middle of a disciple show and I'm bouncing against people left, right and center, elbows flying, knees flying. And then this uh, one youth that I went to Mississippi with to help out with hurricane relief dropped down next to me. And I was like, I was just praying and I was remembering the trip that we went on and then you just literally landed right here. He's like, yeah. We talked, we prayed a little bit in the middle of the mosh pit. Then he's like, throw me. And I picked him up and I just threw him into the crowd. I've had other moments where, uh, I've had a lot of ones in worship. I went and saw POD in concert and the whole song Alive, that that was my truth because I'm now I'm alive in Christ. And it in the middle of the mosh pit, once again, uh, I just had this moment of worship. And one of the guys that was with me was like, what are you doing? <laughs> like. My attitude kind of just kind of shifts and I felt like I was connecting and praying and worshiping God in honesty, in spirit and in truth in that moment. But it's not just in these big, loud, chaotic music moments. There's this other time that I was talking uh, with a kid and we ended up going to Subway and there was a deal where it was actually cheaper if we bought a third sub than just the two and we went for a walk and um, we were walking we are like, well, what are we going to do? And we came across someone that was like, hey, I'm hungry and I need food. And we're like, we love subs. We bought things that we like. Let's offer it to them. And in that moment, it was also something honest and truthful. And that act of service was also an act of worship to God. Worshiping God looks different to so many different people. And for a while when I didn't fit in, I thought there might've been something wrong with me, that I was a bad Christian, that I wasn't good enough that there was something wrong and broken with my relationship with God. But that could not be further from the truth. Just the way that I relate to God is different than some other people's. And that's okay. He made us all unique. So for me, jumping in a mosh pit can be just as worshipful, actually even more worshipful than when I'm in church singing songs of worship. Or 
if I'm giving a sandwich to someone on the street or when I'm laughing with you guys online, that is also forms of worship, connecting and loving each other in spirit and in truth. Worship is one of those things that when I first heard that's what we get to do in heaven all the time, I was like, well, that sucks. Heaven sounds awful. I don't know if I want to go. Experiencing the fullness of like honestly amazing worship, man, heaven's going to be awesome. I'm excited to go to heaven where we get to worship all the time.